Is it possible to be allergic to silicone? How would I find this out? What common things have silicone in them? Absolutely, you can be allergic to silicone, though it's considered rare. The human body has a knack for being unpredictably finicky. Here's the thing. A person can be allergic to just about anything. If your immune system decides it doesn't like a certain substance, it may respond with an allergic reaction. Silicone is generally regarded as hypoallergenic, but some folks might develop an allergy to it over time. How would you find this out? You'd usually get a hint from consistent allergic reactions when you're in contact with objects containing silicone. Symptoms could be as mild as skin irritation or as severe as a systematic response. But to avoid the guesswork, you might want to consult an allergist. They've got skin tests that can help confirm whether silicone is the culprit that's giving you grief. What common things have silicone in them? There's a trove of them, and you've likely crossed paths with a bunch without even knowing it. Silicone pops up in everyday items due to its durability and heat resistance. Think kitchen utensils like spatulas or baking mats, sealants around windows, some types of personal care products like shampoos and conditioners, dimethicone is a popular one, and medical devices like some brands of bandages or tubing. Living here in Portland, Oregon and being a bit of an outdoor enthusiast, I've handled my fair share of camping gear that incorporates silicone for its reliable waterproofing capabilities. Even that comfy, squishy phone case you love could be made of silicone. If you suspect you're allergic, start with a thorough inventory of items you frequently handle. Those that trigger a reaction should be top suspects. Silicone might be useful, but if your body's raising the red flag, best to heed the call and find alternatives.